Meet the Graviners, everybody's favorite dysfunctional family, starring Ellen and Damien and Tallulah's Tiara as Tallulah's Tiara. This episode, nothing much happens. Well, it's been a while since we've shown this, isn't it? And I do apologize for that. It's taken me a long time to get organized. But I've been wanting to make a Let's Play of Meet the Graveners for some time. So here it is. Let's see how we do. And let's, let's reacquaint ourselves with uh, the people as well. Here's Ellen. Ellen is a politician. She snores, apparently. She's currently a yes woman. Uh, she's heading towards the top. She's also completely mad on martial arts and... Still has this thing for Williams. Meet Damien. Damien is currently one fifth of his way to becoming a master romancer. He needs to woohoo five different places with five different sims. Currently, he's 20% of the way there, so guess what he's going to be wanting to do this week? And Tallulah. Tallulah seems to have got through her traumatizing childhood with nothing but a complete obsession for tiaras, so. I think she's done pretty well, to be totally honest with you. She's currently a high school student. She doesn't work. And her goal in life is to basically be as rebellious as possible while at the same time still doing everything she needs to do. Hey. All right, so let's speed things up a little bit. Let's move on till morning. Okay, Ellen, as usual, is the first one up bright and early. So let's get you change outfit into everyday one and get yourself some breakfast. In fact, to be totally honest, let's get these cleaned up first and then have a have some breakfast. No, what are you doing? Oh dear, Ellen the martial artist almost came second to her chest of drawers. Oh dear, eat leftovers, eat some, eat some waffles, there we go. Okay, so four short dishes in the room. That should only be dishes in the room there. And there seems to be plenty of food in the fridge, so I'm not going to bother getting Damien to cook some. So when you get up, dear boy, first thing I think you want to do is you have some leftovers as well. Yeah, and likewise what state are you in oh there's something i think you really need to do first isn't there and then have some breakfast yourself um eat leftovers waffles um, yeah yeah you got a little bit more time to sleep oh good lord look at those waffles oh i forgot these are the waffles that ellen made then promptly set fire to by the looks of Okay, so what should we do with you guys in the morning? Uh, Ellen, you need to work on your charisma, my dear, because, quite frankly, you seem to be lacking some, so... Get there, practice your speech. Mm. And Damien, how are you doing career-wise? You are doing pretty well, actually, but... You're still fairly low-ranking in your job. You need to become a star. I'm sure you will. Okay, right. Okay, so serve dessert. I want you to make a, a, two servings of cookies. There we go. Try not to eat them. William, there's something I need to tell you. You need to die. You need to die, I tell you. Die. Why are you feeling sick? Ah. I see the waffles bit back. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do with um, Ellen fairly soon is send her back to uh, China so she can enter into a martial arts competition. Due to the heavy snow this morning... Today has been declared a snow day. School is therefore cancelled for the day. Ah, oh, good. That gives us a chance to work on her skills a little bit because she is somewhat lacking at the moment. So, who do you know? Jupiter Bell. 
Uh, he's a celebrity, apparently. Right. Uh, I don't even have a chat with him because he's probably off school as well. And then. Let's get you. Okay. I think, to be totally honest with you, it's time for those to go. Yeah. Okay, and I think we'll get you to. Oh, yeah, we can't just throw it out like that until they're spoiled. Open. Horrifying quality waffles. Let's just dump them in there like that. Yeah. Are you sure you want to sell? Yes. Good lord, yes. Right, so. Eat leftovers. Oh, there you go. Start off with the breakfast of kings, why don't you? I hate to say this, Damien, but there looks like there's some flies in your cookie dough. I don't know what you're talking about. Doesn't all cookie dough have flies? Okay, Damien, whatever you say, old boy. Whatever you say. Okay, so, right. Taluna, read that book. Oh dear. Tatula is going to be rebellious. And. Tatula, my dear, I think you were a touch too slow. Quite frankly, I don't think you'll want to go and go in there for a little bit. So, you do you start off. Oh, what state are you in? Oh, you're pretty bad. So. Uh, okay. Start off with your chat, and th then use the loo, and then eat your leftovers, and then, and then read your book. There we go. That's you sorted out for the day. Damien's uh, cooking his cookies. And that's just quite ironic because Ellen is tossing hers, so I think it's perfectly fair. Uh, you, you can clean up when you're done. Does it need cleaning? No, okay, right. Uh, in which case, you're feeling sore, so we'll lay off the martial arts for a day. But still, I would like you to go back and carry on practicing your speech. Okay, there we go. Right, I'm getting organised. Okay, I'm heading out in a few minutes. Try calling back in six hours. <sighs> the pressures of being a celebrity, I suppose. Damien has improved his cooking skill to level four. Whoa, go Damien. Right, so let's chuck that in your inventory. And if you've got enough, we'll uh, go and serve those cookies and get yourself some uh, reward points for it. Okay. I'd like everybody to know that anyone called William is going to find themselves down the bottom of a pit fairly soon. Oh yes. Well, I think, to be totally honest, you she's enjoying that way too much, considering that some of Damien's cookie flies have escaped. But uh, do us a favor, my dear. Do us a favor. No, actually. Damien can do it. You tidy that up afterwards, would you? I'm taking it from the complaints that the TV's gone foom. Yep, the TV has indeed gone foom, so you... You can repair that when you're done, if you would, please. How's your skills going? You've nearly leveled your skill point up. Excellent. So in the last episode, I think it was the last episode, Damien finally, finally became a man. No, oh, yes. And uh, now it's time for him to 
do his best. You know, he needs to he needs to find somebody else. He needs to find twenty one to forty percent. To be totally honest with you, and locations twenty one to forty percent as well. And he's got a few people in mind, to be honest with you. Uh, so it's going to be a case of finding them. Um, I think, to be totally honest with you, I know people are kind of used to you, Damien, but uh, why don't you actually change your clothes before you put them on? Yeah, just, just, you know, for convention's sake. So there we go, that's that lot uh, sorted out. He's going to deliver the cookies off in the school that's closed. Yay. Uh, Ellen's still rehearsing what she's going to say to William when he ends up at the bottom of the pit. You don't rub the lotion into its skin. Why not? Uh, oh, we have posts. Oh, we have bills. Yay. Alright. Uh, Ella, uh, actually, Toluda. Pay bills. Get mail. See how we're doing here. Are we nice? We'll speed things up a touch. The carpool for Damien will come in an hour. I will sort themselves out for that. Might end up a little bit late at work, but I think the world is alive. Go, Damien. Okay, so right. Oh, yeah, this is getting a bit loud. Nearly leveled up that skill there. Good. Okay, and no, don't make a snowman. Actually, you know, I don't mind you being late, but don't just go to work. There we go. And. Uh, yeah, suck up to the director a little bit. That seems to be your forte. There you go. And after work, I think we'll sort you out with a few people. Here's here's one of Damien's targets. Let's just pause the game a little bit. And let's show you this lovely lady here. This is Delicia Hoover. And... I can apparently, according to Damien, there are a couple of things about her that attract her to me. Mm. The left jugular and the right jugular. Mm. So yes, he's, he's struck up a bit of a a relationship with the maid. I mean, I think it's, it's sort of kind of familiar there. He, he Ivan was the the first person that he uh, got close to, but. Uh, well, I think, you know, he, he, he was right to drop him when he found out that Ivan was also the Llama Man. So we're getting close to the maid. There's a few other people that he's interested in as well. This young lady here, for example, Daisy Swizzle, who's a mixologist. He's uh, somewhat interested in her. And, well, to be totally honest with you, the rest of the city here that has a pulse. He's uh, pretty much getting into, so what can I say? As long as he's having fun. But, uh, yeah, he's working okay. He is working okay. And thinking of working okay, how's the TV looking? Uh, the nice thing is we actually have the money to Ooh, we have the money to afford paying the bills now. Who else has to go to work? Do you have to go to work? Yep. We got a few to work. You go. You repaired the TV just in time. Good on you. And you're still doing your thing. Which is perfectly fine. So you want to talk to Damien. You want to redeem festival tickets. Collect 20 more festival tickets and use a charming introduction. Uh, let's not pull a prank. Uh, let's build an igloo. Let's get rid of that one. Let's build an igloo. Yeah. And you're now a little bit more charismatic, which is only going to serve you well. So let's get rid of that, and you can go and pay the bills. In fact, you wanted to use an introduction of type, didn't you? You wanted to use a charming introduction somehow. 
have to, to find someone for you to be charming to. I dare, I even... <laughs> uh. <laughs> Damien just got a letter in the mail from Ivan Robbins. It says, this came as a surprise, but a welcome one. Let's see where this goes, but I'm damn well not picking up the uh, soap again. All right, okay. All right, Tula. Can you make a... Yeah, build an igloo. There we go. No, you can't build an igloo there. It's not enough flat space to build an igloo, but there's going to be here. So there we go. Go here and build an igloo. There we go. You can sleep in it tonight when Auntie Ellen just snores too. What are you? You're not actually doing anything, are you? You're just standing there, staring into space. Okay, fine, fair enough. There isn't enough space to build an igloo there either. Right, the hunt for space to build an igloo carries on. Uh, no, apparently not there. What about down here? Can you build an igloo down here? Alright, okay. Well, try, start by... Yeah, let's go down here. Let's go down here. You will make an igloo. There we go. So, Auntie Ellen is working... Okay, why don't you work hard? I know it's going to stress you out a little bit, but quite frankly... No, I think you deserve that promotion. It's probably worth the extra effort for, and yeah, you're you're slowly moving upwards. But quite frankly, it's Damien. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about much, to be totally honest with you. Well, thank you very much for that 125 simoleons of staring out the window. That's been really good of you. Can you not build? Is it because it's a playing field? What about here? Uh, come on, find find me an igloo friendly service. Here we surface. Here we go. Build an igloo, and then we can do some stuff down in the park. Why not? Alrighty. So she wants to go to attend the prom. Yeah, why not? Let's promise you that. Um, wants to do everything. Well, looks of it. Okay. Uh, to be young, to be young and enthusiastic again. Uh, Right, okay, let's uh, that, that everyone else is being boring. Let's follow you and watch you make your igloo. Let's follow we'll follow you and watch you materialise in the middle of nowhere. There we go, right. right. Goodness, you're gonna freeze to death thrust like that. <laughs> you almost got for a face full of snowboarder as well. Uh, change outfits. Outerwear one. There we go. Let's get you changed before you freeze. And resume building. And after that, why don't you go snowboarding for a bit? There we go. All right. Mmm, wearing warm clothes makes you feel warm. Isn't it good to know? Right, how are you guys doing? Yeah, doing well. I don't think that Ellen's going to get promoted today, but it's going to be close. In fact, I think you've probably done enough for now. Just go down to business as usual and we'll finish that off tomorrow. There's Young Ellen, I think we're going to speed that up touch. Young Ellen is probably going to be uh, moving into the park for the foreseeable future. Right, I hope that was worth the effort of that, of that noise. Not certainly, certainly it was. Okay. Do you have any homework thinking about it? Do you have any homework? You do not have homework. I don't think you've actually attended school yet, thinking about it. I think the last episode was a weekend one, and you aged up in it, so... Oh, never mind. Okay, so you are hungry and lacking fun. You are Damien. I've said, really. 
So, all right, let's get you. Let's get you to go home. You, yeah, you might as well go home as well. Let's do get you something to do something fun there. And Tallulah, how are you doing on the skateboarding? Apparently, you need to psych yourself up a bit, I think. Right, so they both left work at the same time. Neither of them got a promotion, but not the end of the world. Uh, Damien. Damien's, Damien's been having a little bit of a think about this, and he's thinking, you know... Okay, the problem I have here is this now... You know, woohoo can strike you anywhere at any time, and it's 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 important to be prepared. So, what I think we're going to do with uh, uh, Damien here is we're going to send him off to try and find a tent, and my goodness. There's someone you never, ever, ever, ever want to ask if she's seen her toes. Because, quite frankly, she hasn't. And it's not because of the snow. In fact, you need to get to know this girl. Bridget. Is it? Bridget Steele. She's a paparazzi. Okay, so. Charming introduction. Let's, let's try this out. Time for you to make another friend. <laughs> and he likes this idea. Uh, she apparently doesn't quite as much. Either that or she wants a bit more space in order to say hello. No, I don't know what's going on here to be honest with you. I think she actually she was following whoever that was, and a trip to the limo. And now? Okay. Damien, I think you just blew your chance. Sorry about that, man. Okay, time for you to go home, I think. And we'll see about getting you organised when we get home. You are on your way. Do you, are you still, you're still, you're still skateboarding. Good lord. Uh, snowboarding, rather. Uh, okay, you, you actually seem to be enjoying that. Uh, how many tickets you picked up? Another five tickets. Invite a sim over. And you try that. Okay, so. Give friendly introduction to Buck. Is this Buck? No, that's Jet. Okay. Can't do that on account of don't know who that is. So, Damien, my boy, how are you doing? Well, quite frankly, not too bad. All right, well, let's see if we can get you a tent. That is our uh -huh, intent. We don't have one on your inventory. And um, will there be one here? Miscellaneous. Oh, I do love the organization system. Is that a tent? That's a bonfire. It just looks asked if it was a tent because it looked pointy. All right. Um. Comfort, perhaps? Miscellaneous comfort. No. Uh, okay, where would it be? Where would it be? Where would it be? Um, lounge? No, it's not going to be lounge chairs, is it? I'm an idiot. You idiot, Simon. You idiot. Everything I think I want for turns up from time to time in Decker, so let's just have a quick look in here. And it is, it seems to be uh, sort of the Hufflepuff of the Sims 3 world. It's uh, you know, anything that needs to be dumped in somewhere gets dumped in here. Alright, so. <laughs> let's get Damien the dumpster. Right, okay, I'm going to look for that tent later on, to be honest with you. I'm bored with this idea now, and our 20 minutes is actually completely up, so. Let's get these guys a bit sorted, and we shall say farewell, and I will do another episode of this next week, when I think we're going to send Ellen to China. We're going to send Ellen to China, 
and get her to become the, the kung fu artist that she's always wanted to be. So we'll probably have to save up a little bit during the week, but we'll do our best. Okay, so you eat your leftovers. Have some autumn salad and clean out the bad food. And Ellen, you eat that. And then I want you to work out for a little bit, I think. Practice and then have a shower and lovely Tallulah I think you're actually done with that so why don't you stop that and head home and we'll sort you out in the next episode okay that's it that has been us setting up meet the grabbiners for a let's play series I think to be honest with you that's a very nice picture there we go it might actually be our thumbnail for the episode i don't know until we actually get organized and start doing oh yeah this properly which i'm hoping now will be next weekend let's just get rid of these no didn't want to do that just want to take a photograph come on please just let me take a photograph There we go. There's our thumbnail for the episode. Okay, until the next time, I have been Simon Parsons. This lovely young lady has been Tallulah Grabner. Thank you for watching Meet the Grabners. If you like this, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do think about subscribing. But until the next time, thank you and good night.